Got access to a program designed to tackle prostitution in Dallas to rescue women from the streets. And it's not a group or a church that's behind this. It's the district attorney's office itself. Damon Fernandez has this WFAA original and the push to rescue women from human trafficking. Across Dallas County, prostitution is big business. When we get them, they are just exhausted. Local streets and some of the women and men working them are part of a path to what some call a major human trafficking enterprise. We're picking up the women that have slipped through the cracks. My name's Karen. Karen Green knows about the profession firsthand. 17 years ago, I was one of those women that were out here on the streets. Now rehabilitated. Does your information will help us to help other women. Green works closely with police and social service agencies. Yeah, all right, babe. Coordinating the county's prostitution diversion initiative. Dallas police is going out to the red light area and gathering these women up. Once a quarter, Dallas police and sheriff deputies join forces on a unique prostitution sting. I was standing in a drug infested area. Their focus is not on taking people to jail. Look how you were dressed though. Hold on, look what you're saying. Organizers say this initiative is about getting them help. You're not being tortured or punished, you've been rescued. City and county court staff, the health department, and a variety of social service agencies set up a command center like this at an undisclosed location. Better, what better place do you think that you need to go? The diversion initiative team brings the prostitutes in. All I need to know is, and these are the clerks here. If I could have went through this and had this while I was out here. Here, they are processed for criminal history, counseled and tested on the spot for STDs and given some options. But you got a chance to get it together. You could have been killed out there tonight. Tonight could have been the night that somebody say, I'm going to kill you somebody. Deanna Maxi Tanner gets to meet most of those going through triage here. And I was the only female. She's a recovering time. addict and knows what it's like on the streets. When you're out there, you don't have no hope. The only hope you have is just to live to see the next day. Most of the women picked up this night are moms with addiction. There was one man, the youngest sex worker processed, only 15. Victims, the team calls them, who are looking for help, searching for hope, and running into brick walls. They lost. They don't have family. They don't have no resources when they actually come in here. This diversion initiative links most of the prostitutes here with resources and a plan to get them off the streets. How is this changing lives? It's changing lives one person at a time. And so this is where they process the citations. Diane Gibson is a community courts coordinator. So this is the prosecutor. She says those who choose social services go through a year-long program. Says we have them get jobs. We have them get housing. And if it's treatment they need, we help them with treatment. Don't you cry at night? It's hurt. You feel more for your kids, but it's hurting you too. The prostitution diversion is about changing lives and ending cycles of abuse. Here you go, baby. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Organizers say they have a message for those victims they're still working to reach. There is hope. There is hope. Damon Fernandez, Channel 8 News.